Greetings, this is Susie Q here back on a video and it's all about my own Akashic Records and there's going to be a lot of questions. <laughs> and you're going to get an A plus when you, when you get all the questions. All right, we're going to get started right now. Contrived ordinary contrarians spin and swirl about as the rock of your own standards flop. What now must I do? <laughs> What would Shakespeare say? What is right for your feast of life? What will you do when you drink the wine, the elixir of nonsensical meanderings? What am I? What am I supposed to do now? What about this life? What is happening now? What can you do? What about my body? What is next for me? What about healing of my body? What else do I need to learn? <laughs> what would it be like if I could just go for it? Like, I just want to go for it. What would it take me to begin to begin again? <laughs> what if something shifts? Hmm. What will I do then? What do I need to do to be? <laughs> what about curiosity? What is my next move? What if I could start something new? Wow. What would it be? What is encouraging me to begin again? What is the first step? <laughs> what else do I need to know? What is blocking my ideas? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> What is happening to me? What am I? What am I really doing? What is a calling? What am I? What else? <laughs> Allow yourself a moment of time to reconcile your thoughts, your impressions, and feel that breath of life within and without. Whatever it is you wish to be, take one step. Take one step and feel the goodness of something conspiring to bring forth more love, more joy, more curiosity. You get the gist, right? <laughs> be that in revealing the fruition of this or that and proclaim that it is so and so it is. Awaken to your inhalation and praise the parts of you that are accepting newer ways of engaging with life. Awaken to your exhalation and praise for this your life as you release, let go, and free yourself of burdens, thoughts, and constructs, other states that no longer belong in your precious life. When you become free, you be that one that sets the sails across the infinite flow of life, well lived and beyond. You set your own course. You are the one. You begin again and again and again, and you set yourself free. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, so I was kind of like focusing on some of these words and some of these questions. And I guess where I'm, what I'm really saying is that it's really about, I think it's really about love, right? You know, when you start looking at some experiences in your lifetime that you've got, you know, maybe you didn't have love or maybe you're wanting to have love or maybe you want to love, you know, art or, you know, going outside or petting a, you know, petting an animal or something like that. So all of this right now that I'm working with, with so many freaking words, so many freaking words. Yeah, it's like crazy. So many words that I'm working with. And in essence, it's really, I think, about love, you know, and all that love energy is here for each one of us when we start like, you know, kind of getting some of the questions. There were a lot of questions in this one. 
And then you start noticing that love is really that beautiful field of consciousness that kind of helps us to go higher and higher and higher and have a better experience with your day and your life and your friends and your family and the cats down the street. All of that has been a beautiful band of energy for me. It could be the energies. It could be the frequencies. It could be cosmology. Who knows, right? But I really love and embrace and sharing some of my, my automatic written pieces. <laughs> and we'll see you soon. And, and namaste. <laughs>